Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today I'm checking out the RED Gemini camera and its dual recording capability. So this camera has the ability to record the RAW or R3D file and an Apple ProRes file to the RED Mag. And I'm going to use those uh, ProRes files in Adobe Premiere to make an edit. Then I'm going to link in Resolve to the RAW files and make a frame accurate color correct. So I put it into my movie here, went it back to the rental department and grabbed a couple of shots. The RED Mag as I've offloaded it to my uh, hard drive. And here are the RDCs which are or the clips which are each of the shots I did on the RED Mag represented by the RDC. Let's go in and check it and you can see here I have a R3D, that's the red raw file, and I have my MOV. So I have a quick time for every clip. So I'm going to take these uh, quick time files and put them into a Premiere project. Okay, I've assembled a uh, sequence here on the timeline. There's Ryan in the shelves, grabs a case, takes it out, there he goes, and out into the rental bays to his computer, come around and profile. All right, so I wanna take this down and I wanna create a file so I can link to the raw files and resolve. So I'm gonna go file, export, and I want an EDL and I'll call that proxy edit. Second thing I'm gonna do while I'm in Premiere is I'm gonna make a reference movie or export a reference movie so I can make sure that the uh, linking to the R3Ds in Resolve are frame accurate. So to do that, I'm gonna go File. I'm gonna go back to Export. This time I'm gonna choose something called Media. And in here, you can set this up for all different types of outputs. What I'm gonna do is I made a preset that's called Reference Movie. And now I'm going to go ahead and export a 1920 by 1080 QuickTime file. One quick piece of housekeeping here before we go into Resolve. I exported my reference movie. Resolve needs to see files inside of folders to find them. So I have within the Premiere folder made a reference movie folder. And here is the reference movie that we looked at earlier. Here we are in Resolve. I've set it up to be a red project. Here's my RDM. If I click on that, now you see uh, it populates with each of the clips. I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to put them into my media pool. And I'm going to change this. Okay, so there's the thumb drive. Let me go into a list view so I can show you something real quick here. Notice that we have different resolutions. We've got a 2048 by 1080, then a 5120 by 2700. Well, that's because when I brought all the assets from my red mag into the media pool, not only did I bring my red files, let me click on this one, and you can see R3D, right? And there's the 5120 by 2700. I also brought the QuickTime movie that was associated with that clip. Notice it's 2048 by 1080 right here. So I have now basically brought in double of everything. So I need to go in and I need to take the QuickTime movies out of my media pool because I just want to link to my red files. All the QuickTimes are out and you can see here the resolution throughout this is now 5120 by 2700. I have all my R3Ds ready to go. Now I'm gonna go over to the edit tab and traditionally, uh, you would take these uh, assets here and you would just drop them onto the timeline and start working. However, we want to make a frame accurate link of the R3Ds to the Premiere Edit. So to do that, I'm gonna go to File and we're going to uh, import a timeline and here's EDL. I'm gonna select that. And it's gonna take us over to, take you over to the training drive here go into my Premiere folder, and there's the proxy edit EDL that we generated in Premiere. I'm going to select Open, OK, and now I have a assembly of the R3D files based on the Premiere edit. However, I need to bring a reference movie in so that we can make sure it is frame accurate. Let me go over and pull that in. 
All right, we're back in the media page. I'm going to go to the thumbnail view of our shots here. Now what I'm going to do is I need to bring in the reference movie. So to do that, I'm going to close up my footage. I'm going to go to Premiere. And within Premiere folder, I have this thing called a reference movie. Now if I select it, there is my reference movie. Now I'm not going to drag this down into the media pool. I need to specify exactly what it is. So I'm going to go and right click with my zoom in on this a little bit so you can see a little better. I'm going to right click and I'm going to add as offline reference clip. And when I do that, it now populates itself in the media pool. It has this little checkerboard icon and I can scroll through and you can see there's the shot. Okay, so the next shot, next thing I need to do is now I need to link this reference movie to my timeline here. So I'm going to right click with my mouse and I'm going to go to timelines and I'm going to link offline reference clip to my reference movie. And now that I've done that, you have these little icons here. Let's go out of here and let's go back to the edit page. Now here is the edit. I'm going to go here and I'm going to select offline. And as soon as I do that, here's the proxy with a look burned in, by the way. And here is the R3D corresponding. Now let's make sure they're frame accurate. So I'm going to take my playhead. I'm going to go to the first edit. I'm going to hold down the K key and I'm going to go back one frame using J. All right, so there it is. There's the last frame of that shot. Now I'm going to hold down K and touch L one time. And they link together. They both are the same frame. Let's go down to the next edit. Hold down my K, tap on J. Okay, there's that frame. And there we go. Next frame, frame accurate. I'm going to every cut and I'm just looking at the last frame of the previous shot and then the first frame of the next shot to make sure that they line up. Okay, here's the last cut. Let's go back one frame, okay, and let's go one frame ahead. All right, everything is frame accurate. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start doing my color correct. That wraps up my look at how to record R3D and ProRes in the Red Gemini and then use the Premiere Edit to link to RAW files in Resolve. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.